Hi, Front Range. This is Ariella, counseling intern again. Um, I have just another really quick, simple relaxation technique for you. Um, this one is called the 54321 method. It's a grounding technique, and it's especially helpful for when you're feeling really overwhelmed um, and having a, a really hard time calming down. The idea behind this one is to engage your five senses and focus on your surroundings instead of letting your brain dwell on fear or worry or other negative feelings that you might be having. The reason this works and kind of helps is our brains have a really hard time processing sensory data and emotions at the same time. If you're doing one, you're not really doing the other. You can't really do both at the same time. So when you really hone in on engaging your five senses, it's like you're t sending a message to your brain to snap out of it and take a break from all of the stress. So here's how it works. It's really simple. Um, if you're doing this with a kid, then you'll have them do all of these things for themselves, but you might need to prompt them and ask more questions. So I'll give some examples. So first, you're going to point out five things that you can see from where you are right now. Um, describe them to yourself. If um, Here's some examples of questions you might want to ask your kids if they're having a hard time with it. So what color is it? What shape is it? How big is it? Stuff like that. So second, you're going to find four things that you can touch. And you or whoever is doing this activity actually go touch the thing that you're pointing out. So what does it feel like? Is it hot or cold? Is it hard or soft? Um, describe the things as you touch them. Try to use as many descriptive words as you can about the things that you touch. After that, you're going to point out three things that you can hear. Sometimes this is a little hard, especially if we're in a really quiet area, but if you listen really closely, you can usually find things that you might not have noticed otherwise. Um, so an example of that would be like the low hum of your computer fan or the noise that happens when your air conditioning kicks on and that kind of thing. Um, try to find as many as you can and point them out and describe them. Next, you're going to find two things that you can smell. And this one I think is pretty challenging too, but the idea behind this is to be really aware of what's going on around you. So really try to find a smell that you can identify, even if you have to walk around the room that you're in to, to find something and then describe what that smells like. And then finally, you're gonna point out one thing that you can taste and maybe it's a cup of coffee or a snack that you're having um, and describe it. Is it sweet? Is it sour? Try to really notice what it tastes like and describe that. So again, the idea behind this is to get as much detail um, in the sensory data that you're taking in as possible, because um, that's going to really help your brain slow down and take a break and snap out of that anxiety mode and, and, and have a chance to calm everything down before you go back to what you were doing. And that kind of gives you a chance to start fresh at the thing that was causing you stress. You might have a chance to go back to it in a better place and, and be able to approach it without the stress overload. So yeah, I hope that this was helpful.